Good evening, everyone. System Chalk here with what I think is the 168th episode of Book of Hours, playing as the artist. We're currently overnight. Now, um, as usual, it uh, should be the Monday episode, so I am utterly clueless in terms of what I'm up to. I do notice that it's evening, and I know the last couple of times I've actually forgotten to store a memory, so we'll have to pick one of those before too long. Now, uh, I also had some plans in terms of um, the sealed vault, the... and... Um, yeah, sorry, the sealed vaults and... Uh, Reverend Timothy and Mrs. Kill. Um, now, I don't need to worry about memories for that, but I imagine I probably want to try and read one of these books as well. Although I suspect if I want to use one of the bigger books, I would need a Newman anyway. So maybe not so obvious to me which of these I want to keep. So you know what we'll do? Uh, I'm going to just take a look at what's available and pick one at random. So I get um, Impulse, Gossip, or Storm. Technically Storm is the... We'll go for the, uh, the Gossip. Frivolous but tasty. Now that night has fallen, I can rest and perhaps dream of the day's doings. So um, <clears throat> the plan here will be we'll get uh, Mrs. Kill to take care of the sealed vault. We will get Reverend Timothy to take care of this lower sealed vault. And um, there's going to be a little bit of work that I need to do in the sense that uh, I will need to give Reverend Timothy the inescapable confinement first, and then I will need to read the book <clears throat> that gives Mrs. Kill, uh, or the, the um, sorry, the uh, Sun Disfigured. We'll have to read that next. But I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. Um, for the rest of it, I think we'll just jump into the next day and see where the day takes us. Got sea stories and disciplines of the scar. I'm just going to take a quick look here to see which of these is lower. Okay, sea stories is at five, disciplines of the scar is at four, so I suppose Debellus Murorum is the better of the two for me to play around with. Yeah, I think we'll see we'll see where the day takes us, but in this case I think a book and two rooms is a perfectly respectable um, way to spend the day. We'll move the shaft aside. I actually should set a few of these aside, so we'll set the shaft, the whist, both Arab aside. This is exactly what I was looking for. So, mackerel, eat it while it's fresh or keep it while it's salted. So, I'll put that in the. I think I used that for the scales. Alright, daybreak. Memories fade, assistance departs, but the soul is refreshed. So, we'll use our whist at the rectory. Reverend Timothy enjoys thoughtful conversations, prayer, and tea. He'll offer his assistance in return for a one-shilling donation to church funds. So, there's the shilling. We do appreciate the contribution. And here we'll talk with Mrs. Kill. Mrs. Kill's mood always improves when I drop by. If you don't choose a topic, Mrs. Kill will offer help as a friend. Mrs. Kill stands ready to help. You always cheer me up, she says morosely. Let's go to Mrs. Kill's, oh, sorry, Ava, <laughs> Mrs. Kill's desk. Ava's desk. So, Debellus Murorum. I suppose in this case I can actually use the Trist because we've got plenty of edge to use. Let's maybe avoid using Edict's Marshal, but Disciplines of the Hammer, especially given that it's Disciplines of the Scar. Uh, Debellus Murorum, an 18th century poem, uh, sorry, an 18th century epic poem by the pseudonymous Solipstos. Uh, this might be a little reckless, but I'm going to take Natan's desk and read uh, the Newman, or get the Newman right away. It's just because it doesn't take a full minute for us to uh, get Reverend Timothy. And I suppose if I really want, I can try and read one more book. So there's nothing saying I can't read the Larkabean Codex.
Um, yeah, you know what? Let's get aggressive. Because technically I don't need to use uh, these stories on this, but... Moon a culmination. I can master this mystery. Enough moon to match mystery moon. So busy, busy day set up for myself, but not that's not completely unwelcome. Uh, while I'm at it, let's make a bit of money at the sweet bones. Fixing and mending. There's not much work on offer in Brankrug, but I can find six pence worth of odd jobs. Okay, so our first priority is to talk to Reverend Timothy about the human. Yeah, it's a stormy day as well, so unfortunately we don't have much that we can put that towards so far as... Um, like as, as far as um, the rooms that I want to open. So again, a reminder here, we've got Grail and Knock, uh, Knock and Scale, Edge and Knock, and Moon and Rose. So in this case, none of, none of these are direct, uh, directly benefit an interaction with the storm. I suppose I, I might have actually tried to read the origins of ours. Oof, I feel a little gross doing this, but... Um, bring in Reverend Timothy. This might actually be a chance for me to read the relevant um, sky text, so let's see if I can take a crack at the origins of ours as well. So we would take the storm here, and then my highest sky, it's not drums and dances. Is it really just Sacralamea? Glacier and lightsmithing. So this would take Vac, which doesn't give me any additional sky. Um, so this thing is looking for 16. Oh, hang on a minute. So if I add the Mazarine Fife, we're up to 14. Okay, I'm going to get a little... Yeah, I think I'm going to go a little reckless here. And I'm probably going to use the Sweet Bones to restore some elements of the soul. So what I'm going to do... Uh, I guess it doesn't really hurt if I just bring back another storm. So I am putting a little bit of a risk uh, at this, just because I may not get the element of the soul that I want. But 30 seconds, we'll have another storm. I carried a memory like a flambeau safe through the mazes of night. Okay, Reverend Timothy. Reverend Timothy, rector of Brankrug, ordained by the Church of the Unconquered Sun, a learned man, blessed in the tally, the gate, and the light. So we'll start by talking about the inescapable confinement. I can discuss a memory with my assistant. This will use up the memory, but boost the assistant's abilities for the rest of the day. See, so yeah, I was not originally planning on doing three books in one day. But I don't hate this option. It just means I'm going to have to work harder. Memories don't last long outside books, but it's made the difference for the day. So we're going to talk to him about the shaft next. We've got the Swaddled Thunder. A storm swathed, uh, swathed in subtle threads, ready to be released with a few judicious snips. The thread parts, the weave is empty, the skies cry out. Reverend Timothy is always, always happy to chat. Now we will talk to him about chapped. Education or beguilement boosts knock and forge. So with him, we're going to still want to use the drink and the candle. And then we can send him off to open up one of the chambers. I 
I'm also interested to see who shows up. I'm still waiting to see what shows up here too. Daymare! So I will read... Oh, so is there someone en route to Hush House? I'll read all of the descriptions in a little bit, but I have a few other things that I need to do first. As I used to say in my youth, the day is done and so am I, but I've earned my pay. Okay, so we will bring the metal back. It is autumn when the leaves rustle. The silent landlady has served me apple pie with steamed cream in the window nook. And here we have the sun disfigured, a scroll of anthropoderm parchment written in the golden ink called Uzalt. The author of the text calls herself the Elagabline. Sometimes she seems to be Sunset Celia, the watchman's name. Sometimes she seems to be Lady Trifon, the Grail Long. It is unclear whether these are separate entities or the same person. It may be unclear even to the writer. The flaws in the sun's plan are elucidated. The sun's plan itself is never entirely clear, but it is a project of some kind to enter, possess, or surrender to the glory, the pure light above the mansus. This book suggests ways in which that plan might fail. The sun's si sins and sun's scars are our salvation. There are histories where they will trap us, prevent us from rising to eternity. Okay. Let's have some basics down. We'll have to deal with Daymare first, I think. Well, technically not deal with, but... The affair of the messenger's casket in a hidden fold of the mountains above the city Clued, uh, of Clued. Actually, first of all, let's see what she understands. Okay, still no Hyksos. So we'll actually read all of this after, uh, after we do the work. So, uh, memory, epiphany, and stuff also thinks. So we are in good shape. I'll use the memory, obviously, but... My assistant and I fall easily into conversation. So let's give him the drink next. A nice drop. I can offer my assistant something to drink. Sacrament Assite. Back in the dawn period, the Sisterhood of the Triple Knot used grape Kool-Aid in the rites of the Horned Axe. Easy memory to put in. Now I'm not above using the Fet or the Arab, like all of those things are on uh, deck for leveling up uh, if need be, but Right now I'm interested in, um, you know, I, I want to deal with my, my assistance first, and then following that I can, um, you know, I can see whatever items I can, I can level up. So here we have the origins of ours. The sage and ecstatic Soham, a frequent visitor to the Mansus, claimed to have discoursed with the beech crow in person. Soham later insisted on a sky burial. Soham's writings veer from poetry to confession. He identifies from flesh, those who were mortal, from blood, those who arose from sacrifice, from light, an entry from the glory, and from stone, those who arose before his knowledge. He insists that the moth was the first god who was blood, but later contradicts himself and claims it was the Red Grail. The Mansus was different before the first god came from light, but never doubt it existed even then. So, we have a confounding parable for our trouble, and three Sacra Lamea. So that will be a bit of a challenge to level up, but we did also know that that was going to be... Uh, that was we, There was no doubt that that was going to be a challenge that we had to deal with uh, once, we, once we read this book. I certainly wouldn't complain about uh, having three extra Sacra Lamea anyway, because that will take it up to level eight. <clears throat> And um, obviously any future sky texts will be uh, that much easier to read. Although, you know, whether or not we need a higher level of sky text is a whole other question. 
Okay, uh, I don't think there's much else for us to do. I do still need to hand off a candle to Reverend Timothy, but down to the Greshens. Okay, so we've got 14 knock at the moment. I believe I was going for 16. Well, I don't need to now. I can actually just work on this vault, which I think I will. I'm not so... Well, that's a tough call, actually. Um, I think I'll bite the... Oh, I think I'll bite the bullet and... do the more difficult one. A light for dark places. I can offer my assistant a candle. This will increase their aspects. They'll keep any candle stumps that might be left over. So I am going to want to make a replacement candle at some point, but now is not the time for that. I am a bit short in terms of things to do with elements of the soul, but that will probably change as the, um, uh, as the remaining books get read. So I think I'm going to bring the Faust back, just on the odd chance that I want to bring back Sacrum Lamea. It also gives me the option of earning some money at the Sweet Bones when the time comes. Okay, Debellus Murorum, an 18th century epic poem by the pseudonymous Solipstos. The poem elliptically describes a war between beasts, weather phenomena, and arcane concepts. It's quite specific about their tactics. The two one joined, and the horn distinguish, consequently, blood. So one discipline of the scar and a contradiction for our trouble. Oops. This is my contradiction shelf, so we have yet another reshelving task ahead of us. Um, so I'm slightly curious here, if I've got this salt shelf, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Interesting. Okay. turned out. There is kind of a question in terms of whether or not I'm going to be able to actually get any of these uh, leveled up, but I'm going to, again, set that aside as a task for later. Um, moon of Culmination, the Larkabine Codex. Christopher, uh, sorry, Christoph Larkabus claimed to have purchased two handwritten copies of the Codex from a family of witches on the shores of the Sea of Marmara. A third was given to the sea. The sister and witch came from the west, where they were born in two wombs, one a princess, one a monster. Nevertheless, they loved each other from birth and met in secret to seek union. When the great drought came, the kings of that land tried to sacrifice the princess and the witch, so they sailed across the sea. When despair took them, they flung themselves into the drowning waters and so found the painted river, where they entered the mansus through the offices of the Red Grail. Nevertheless, the Codex ends with a condemnation of the Grail. So another salt. So right, <laughs> right when I found a new home for all the salt texts. And there is the sea stories. So I might actually... Uh, I think these three with sea stories probably makes the most sense. 
But I'm gonna guess there's no room, yeah, no room for that there. Um, I could try sort of a salt shelf here. I'm just trying to think if there's a natural um, a natural shelf to put sort of seven books on. I think we'll make a salt section. It's weird, there's going to be sort of a big empty shelf in the uh, the main part of the library, but I think it's uh, Salt, Regret, um, Savage Hymns, and Beguiling Melodies. Yes, okay. So yeah, it's not so obvious to me what shelf this will become. Um, we do have two for the secret thresholds, excuse me, I guess, but... These kind of belong together because they're confounding parables. I think we'll just keep it. Um, we'll keep it empty for now. <clears throat> okay. So um, we've got through the books. Now again, I've got all the, all of my work ahead of me in terms of making sense of all of this, but I am noticing sort of a common trend of. Like, so when it comes to my uh, memories, all of these actually work with sea stories. And sea stories needs five memories. So we've got salt, gossip, contradiction, and confounding parables. And what I can do here is I can actually repurpose core to level this up. So I actually just need one memory uh, to be able to make that happen. But the thing that's funny about this is that it does leave me with four memories with nothing to do today, even though I've got all of this extra stuff. So I suppose the next question would be, if I wanted to level up Disciplines of the Scar, um, I kind of need to talk to people, I think. But yeah, let's shoot for leveling up Disciplines of the Scar. And um, I think some of this will rest on being able to talk with Mrs. Kill and getting a certain type of memory, but I don't think it's impossible for that to work either. Uh, sea Stories will become level 6, so we'll replace that with Disciplines of the Hammer. And then Sacralamea will go up 3, so... Okay, so I think by the end of today, the aim will be to have two, um, two memory, or sorry, two skills leveled up uh, by one. And then tomorrow we'll make the replacement moth orchid scented candle. Okay, we're gonna set Reverend Timothy to work. Every candle has its shadow. And we're also going to get Mrs. Kill leveled up. So I can discuss a memory with my assistant. This will use up the memory, but boost the assistant's abilities for the rest of the day. Sealed vault, a heavy iron, sorry, a heavy iron door sealed with black wax, a triple lock of unornamented iron. And of course we still want to talk to Daymare, um, but we obviously have a lot to do with uh, Mrs. Kill first. We may not even necessarily be able to get the memories from Mrs. Kill uh, today, but we'll do our best. 
So in terms of leveling up Mrs. Kill, um, Mrs. Kill, the Newman, Spice Scales, Arab. Oh, a Witching Tassain. I don't know if I have one of those actually. So let me just double check here. I want 14. So we used the Newman. We'll do the Spice Scales now. Proffer a tool I can lend my assistant something to help increasing their abilities. Yeah, actually, I think we're in good shape. I'll be a little careful about what I give up. Um, actually, you know what? I'm also going to make my life a little easier with regards to leveling up sea stories. We're going to do that now. It does mean up giving up the old wound, but that's easy to get back. So, at last, I am something of an authority in this. I'm just trying to think, is there something better that I can give up? And in this case, no. I think the old wound is the best option. Better now. Okay. Uh, so if I use this to make money right now, then I'm not going to be able to restore it. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the core Wist Health uh, and Faust to get the memories for Disciplines of the Scar, but I can afford to do that at the uh, in afternoon, a little hour called Nons, when the doors of the Mansus are most tightly closed for the secular, the hours when we may anticipate tea or celebrate it. So I don't think I'll need, actually, um, it's a question of restoration. I will restore the Wist, but that's mostly because I can use that to earn more money. So it is autumn when the leaves rustle. The silent landlady has served me apple pie with steam cream in the window nook. Iron Vault, where did the Curia of the Isle come from? Across the Western Ocean from noon, where the Order Lamea made their home? That would raise more questions than it answered, but this vault would seem to be of their making, and it would also seem to reference the oath called the Iron Chain, which binds every resident of noon to remain hidden from the world, so that the Calyptra might not look upon us, so that the Chancel might not hear our names, so that the hours might not devour us. So we have a few interesting items here. We've got a morbid casket, a treasure bequeathed by a death-haunted merchant prince in his last days, the coppery casket, the hive casket. We have the uh, Emiranus Vitelli, uh, which has a Newman. And we have a child tre treasury of golden afternoons. Now this is a Hyksos book, which I can't read, but it also has a Newman. So, Something of an advanced room for me to go into, but I, uh, you know, <laughs> I just wanted to, to be able to deal with the, um, you know, all the extra things I needed to give Reverend Timothy in advance. Okay, this tool has, boost tool has boosted their aspects appropriately. Let's toss the Arab to Mrs. Kill. We are getting a little short on time, but not uncomfortably so. The skill is now level 6, its power aspects have also increased. And again, I'm not too worried about the um, about leveling up Disciplines of the Scar. We can afford to do that at tea time. So I believe it's the Witching to Sane and the Pears that I need to give Mrs. Kill, so we should have enough time to finish off the, the day's work. I'm not sure we have enough to wait to see what the memory is, though. So she should be up to... oh, 11. Yep, that's right. Okay. So I can't remember where I put the last Witching to say, and I think probably that would be in the li uh, librarian's chambers. I can offer my assistant something to drink. 
Tomorrow, I think, uh, we'll spend a bit of time restoring what I consumed for this run. We'll still want to bring in Reverend Timothy to open up the last of the... the last of the knock areas, but... I think we should be able to balance those two tasks. Okay, this is the sign for me to start investing in Edicts Marshal. This should be a pretty straightforward one for me to level up, so let's uh, start with a contradiction. Um, I can use the core for that here. I just made a contradiction. Oh, here we go. Uh, I can get... On the odd chance that I'm going to be talking with Mrs. Kill later, um, I can also bring in a confounding parable. So I'm just trying to think. I guess Bittersweet Certainty would help with... I'm trying to think of the ones that wouldn't trigger... Or that Mrs. Kill wouldn't generate if I get a chance to talk with her. So I think Black Book of Brittany will give me a Glimmerings. And then... Um, Edge or Lantern. Fear is something Mrs. Kill can give me. Foresight is something Mrs. Kill can give me. Well, I think I'll I'll settle my I'll settle a um, I'll settle for at least one that Mrs. Kill can uh, generate. That's interesting. That's a regret. Might want to double check that, because if so, um, maybe we move the other regrets shelf here. Thing is, regret doesn't help me with my current task, so. Um, all right. Let's do the Viennese Canuffra. All right, I think we're good. Better now. All right, so the point of this one was to just earn some money, help with letters. I could offer help with correspondence and arithmetic. There's no school in Brand Krug, and not everyone here knows their letters. So by the end of today, the expectation is that we've leveled up Disciplines of the Scar and that Mrs. Kale is working on the Sealed Vault. The implications of all of this, of course, we'll be dealing with for the rest of the week. But um, right now, I just need to feed her some pears, and the rest is good. I can offer my assistant something to eat. This will increase their aspects. It's also just friendly. Okay, so we've got what we need. Uh, I think we can even get a conversation with her in before the end of the day. Um... We will talk with Daymare overnight about the affair of the messenger's casket. And in fact, maybe that is something that I will leave for Wednesday's episode because I know I'm already over time. Let's maybe see. Yeah, we've got enough time. So I will talk with Mrs. Kill one more time. Mrs. Kill has seen more of the world than she usually lets on. Conversations with her yield the occasional surprise. So the remaining work to do for Wednesday's episode will be to level up um, Disciplines of the Scar. We will uh, put Mrs. Kill to work in the second sealed vault. We have one more left over, but we'll handle that tomorrow with Mr. Ki uh, Mr. Sorry, Reverend Timothy. Um, and then I think what we'll do, so there's a couple of tasks that I want to do. So I'll pick uh, some pairs. 
I'll want to pick up some moth orchid so that I can make another moth or uh, orchid scented candle. And of course, from that, I will also, um, you know, I'll, I'll make the candle in addition to getting the materials for it. And then I'll also want to make another witching to sain. So there's three items that I'm going to craft. In addition, um, I do still have the Sacralamea, which I'm going to want to dedicate quite a bit of effort towards leveling up. And then, of course, finally, I have all of these items here in the uh, in the house to un open and uh, and unlock. And then, because I do have a couple of texts which has a Newman, admittedly, this one I can't read. Um, but on top of those, we also have um, the three and three and serpent root. So I have other books that I'll be reading, but of course they also have the, um, they have uh, lessons that'll be coming out of that. So I wanted to take some time to you know, get that done properly. I guess the one thing that is nice though, we only really have a Tower Rises left for reading. We can probably get that handled um, before the end of the season. But uh, I also don't want to rush it because again, we, we got a lot of lessons today. So I want to make sure that I'm, you know, I'm not overwhelming myself. Um, especially given the fact that we have other things that we want to do with other characters. Anyways, all of this will be dealt with on Wednesday. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.